Hey guys, have a slightly older model car, especially like a luxury car that does not stream Bluetooth media. Well, I think we found a solution for you. Uh, the Bovi Bluetooth device. I have used it on both of the Jags so far and apparently it works with a lot of the other manufacturers. You literally just plug it in as long as you have a 30 pin uh, iPhone connector or like an iPod connector that comes with the car, uh, then it will Bluetooth connect to your stereo and to your telephone and make everything work together. Thank gosh. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay, Melissa and I are in uh, the 2012 Jaguar XKRS, and as typical with a lot of the Jags up till 2015, 2016, they were not uh, Bluetooth compatible for streaming media. Uh, it uses Bluetooth for the phone, but that's about it. So we're going to use the new OV device and show you how this works. Uh, it also works on or a similar model of it works on other manufacturers such as Volkswagen, uh, Porsche, and Audi, and Mercedes. And I'll put a link down below that you can check out for your particular manufacturer car. Okay, now I've already uh, used this on my own phone, which I'm videoing with right now. And this is uh, an iPhone 11 Max Pro. Uh, Melissa has a iPhone 10s that has not been hooked up to this bovi before so this will be a um, first time experience for it so it'll be just like you will be when you use it uh, we're going to start the car just don't put your foot on the brake just we just start right here okay. we're just turning the aux on because we're sitting in the garage so that brings our screen up okay now, in the Jag, as with a lot of other cars, there's a connection spot right here. I think it's called a 30-pin connector. And the Jag comes with this cord. And you can see the 30-pin connector on it. Now, a side note on these is this is a very big wear item. If you connect stuff back and forth with this often, take it on and off, or if you leave something connected and you use the device very often, this cord will wear out. It was about $200 from the Jag dealer when I bought one about a year ago. So don't let that happen. Okay. So, uh, and this cord comes with the Jags, uh, but it also comes with the Bovi. And uh, the Bovi worked on the cord that it came with and with the Jag cords. So you want to connect your, the Bovi to that. There you go. I'll turn it over there. Do you see the blue light coming on? Okay, that means it's powered up and it's connected and correctly working. All right, so take your phone. Well, first of all, okay, so I'm going to turn my, if the car's on the main screen, I'll turn the audio on. Portable audio. It's already selected. And iPod. Go ahead and turn your Bluetooth on so it's searching. Oh. There it is. Okay, the Bovi 1000. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and click that. And the pin is always zero, 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 zero. Pair. connected. Okay. Now, if you want to back out of that screen. Hold on just a second. All right. I'm going to turn it off, but you heard the, uh, 
the music was coming out because the phone will automatically start playing the iTunes playlist. Uh, and you'll see that the name of the song is displaying on the center screen. John Schneider is the musician or singer. It's got some more information. It's country. So uh, that's as easy as it is to connect the Bovi. We will not have to reconnect it again whenever Melissa gets in and out of the car because her phone is Bluetooth connected. It will uh, automatically connect and start playing. A couple items of note is you can, when, it, when you've got an iPhone connected to it and you're playing from the iPhone iTunes playlist, that's when you get the information on the screen and you can control the volume and the song select. If we just push the song select forward one. So the volume works still. Again, I keep it off so that doesn't, YouTube doesn't get me. Okay, a couple quick notes. Uh, this device will work with just about any vehicle that's on the list, including home audio equipment. Um, it is about $95. I'll go ahead and put the link below for how to access it. Uh, your other options are, you know, if you use a, if you have an old, what do they call it? An iPod Nano or something or something of that <laughs> nature, uh, or going in and what the, uh, high five eyes or whoever it was wanted to do was do a hard wire for a device into my car, which I'm really nervous about getting into any type of luxury car electronics. Uh, this is just so simple. You literally just take the Bovi, plug it in, connect it Bluetooth wise, and you're up and running. A couple last thoughts. I did include in the description below some Amazon links for the products based on the manufacturer of your car. Make sure that you check the individual descriptions in Amazon to make sure they're compatible with your particular situation. To get all the functions from your car system and be able to display all the information from your phone onto your car information screen, you have to be in iTunes library. It will work with any of the other functions like Pandora, whatnot on your iPhone or Android device. However, you will not get the information displayed and may not have all the functions on your steering wheel controls. So, hope that helps you out. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, as always, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. And check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And we want to thank Melissa for... <laughs> Help it out with the video today. I've only got two hands and only one phone. Uh, check her out at Driving with Melissa on Instagram. Thanks for joining us, Fox Garage. We'll see you soon.